today we are going to be checking out some paint brushes. Master's Touch paint brushes. I got them at Hobby Lobby. So this is series 8050. It's the dagger style and it is size 3 8. So this one should be fun. I have not seen a paintbrush like this anywhere before or at least I've never noticed one. This one was only $10, so I only paid $5 for this brush. And it's very, very cool. You can kind of see it has this really interesting angle here. And it's very narrow. I don't know what it's gonna do. Um, I'm actually, instead of putting paint directly on the canvas like I normally do, I'm gonna put it over here and then See what it does. I don't even know how to paint with this. So let's see. Ah, uh, see, look, so this one breaks up the same as that other style did, which isn't my favorite. So I'm going to kind of work the paint into the bristles a little bit more and see if that helps it. Okay. I, in theory, I like it. I'm wondering if I can get this style of brush in the full synthetic, like those black bristles from the larger brush earlier. I'm wondering if I can get it in that type of bristle so that I can love the brush. Cause I like it. It's a cool brush. I don't love it. I don't love the way that it kind of breaks up the paint like this, I would really prefer it to be a smoother um, type of application, I guess. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more water. My water is bright blue right now. So it works well if your paintbrush is wet and if your paintbrush stays wet. It gives a really clean line if there's a lot of water on it. So that's nice. I can get really, really fine lines with it. Also really nice. Okay. Well, overall, I'd say this brush is pretty good. It does fun stuff. It paints kind of in a fun way. And overall, I'd say, overall, I'd say it's pretty good. There's some paint left in there, which is a really cool brush. I like the way that it paints. I like the clean lines. I think it's going to take a little bit of uh, learning to figure out how to really use it to its fullest potential. but. It's a really neat brush. I am very happy with it. It's similar to the angular shader in the way it holds paint. However, if it's really good and wet, it kind of uh, spreads the paint really nicely. So that's just maybe something to remember for all the Golden Taclon material uh, brushes is that they need to be a little bit more wet in order to use them well which this says oil, acrylic, and watercolor. So maybe that's why is because it's meant to be used for watercolor as well. Um, whereas some of the other styles of brush are just oil and acrylic. So they hold a heavier bodied paint better. Uh, but I'm excited to use this one more as well. I like the clean lines that I get with it. It gives me a lot of control. And I think I'm going to like the 
fine lines that I can get with this better than I like some of these smaller detail brushes, especially when I'm going in on a large canvas and trying to get clean lines on a large canvas. Um, this will give me some really nice control on things. So I am excited. I'm going to say this is a four and a half out of five. So I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five. I think it's really fantastic. The only reason I'm marking it down is because it doesn't hold the paint very well if the bristles aren't super, super wet. I think overall it's a great brush. brush. So there you have it. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.